Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see how and when will they contact you, okay? So when can you expect contact, communication from your person or what is it that they may say, what else do you need to know? It is going to be a general reading guys, please just keep that in mind. If you're after personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a message, and let's uh, give the cards a shuffle, sorry, and let's begin. Okay, so it feels like this is this is someone who's been doing a lot of thinking lately and a lot of stressing, okay? A lot of sleepless nights, a lot of restless days here. This is someone who I feel like has been really stressed and losing sleep over you because they're scared that what they've said or done has pushed you away or they're scared that whatever he has happened between the two of you has potentially ruined things, okay? Um, and they're scared that they themselves it feels like there's some sort of regret or you know an energy of guilt and an energy of regret and they're scared that whatever it is that they've said or done here was enough to keep you away so someone who definitely has been stressed and losing sleep it could be because this person may have reached out and communicated to you before but you haven't responded um, or it just could be because this person just doesn't know what to say Okay, maybe this is someone who's pushed you away emotionally. Maybe this is someone who's walked away. They may have, I mean, you've got you've got a few interesting cards. This is someone who may have cheated on you, was dishonest or disloyal to you. And it did feel like, it, you know, it, that was brought out into the open and you found out about it. Okay, you found out about their, you know, their cheating ways, their behavior, their infidelity here. And this is someone who, you know, they feel very, they feel guilt. They feel shameful they feel remorseful interesting you know is it that they is it that they feel guilt that they were caught or they feel guilt for doing the deed in the first place because here's the thing i feel like you feel betrayed by this person right you feel you felt very hurt by this individual there's a sense of betrayal and i think it's not so much the act that's hurt you by the fact that they've kept it from you, the, the fact that they've betrayed you by not telling you, right? By not owing up to their uh, mistakes here. So this is someone who wants to come back and reconcile. Someone wants to come back and reconnect. And I think that even though they may have been silent and not communicating with you, it does not mean that they haven't been thinking about you. Because look at that. Their thoughts have been on repeat. Their thoughts have been going round and round in circles. They've been giving themselves a lot of stress, a lot of sleepless nights. This is someone who's writing and then deleting their messages to you. This is someone who just doesn't know what to say or how to say it. And look, maybe because there's a sense of urgency, maybe you've told them to not communicate with you, you know, to lose their number or, you know, to completely detach. But this person, they're very, it's an energy of them being so scared and stressed. Nights are the worst, okay, which makes sense because... You're alone with your thoughts at night, right? Um, you're alone with your um, thoughts, your inner critic at night. And this is someone who feels a lot of regret and a lot of shame for what they did and how they behaved and how they treated you. They hurt you. They hurt you. They abandoned you. They walked away. They didn't choose you in the end. They've manipulated you. They've lied to you. They've cheated on you. They've betrayed your trust. And it didn't happen just once, did it? It's happened a few times. The repetition of the swords seemed to indicate so. They want to come back together because this person feels like the two of your soulmates. This person feels like they've never loved anyone the way they love you. They've made a mistake. Okay, um, I just want you to know that they hurt you and they're aware that you know they've made their mistake, but... Their cheating was not an accident. 
them hurting you was not an accident. Because it's happened a few times, guys, right? They want to beg your forgiveness. They want to beg your forgiveness. They, they, they're coming in with an apology, with an explanation. Um, they, wanna, they, want to, they want you to forgive them. They want to beg your forgiveness. They want to explain themselves. They want you to hear their side of the story. They, they're asking you, or they will ask you, how do they make it right? How can they make it right? Or what can they do to make things better? It's very clear that, unfortunately, it's taken them this to realize what they had, you know, when they lost you. Unfortunately, it's realized your absence. You know, it's taken your absence to re for them to realize just how much of, you know, a presence you were in their life. Be careful because with the magician, he's up to his old tricks. This person may be remorseful and may feel guilty, but I just think you have to know that their actions here were deliberate. They are sorry, though. They are sorry, and I think they, they're they hurting. The, the fact that they've hurt you hurts them as well. This person, I think, still loves you, or this person is still in love with you, or they, you know, they, they care for you a lot, and they're just... They feel very foolish at themselves for hurting the, you the way that they did. They want, the two of you have had that storm. You've had that, you know, tumultuous um, situation together. They want that rainbow at the end of the storm with you. They want for you to go back to that happy place, whatever that happy place was for the two of you. Was it an actual physical place that the two of you frequented a lot? Was it, you know, a really good point in your relationship? Was it the beginning, the honeymoon phase of the relationship? I don't know. That's going to be different for all of you, right? You're not all the same person. But they want to go back to that happy place, your happy place. Um, and they want to go back. I'm hearing do-over. They want to do-over. They want to restart. They want to close the chapter. Hmm. But that's interesting because to me it feels like... This energy feels like they're scared to confront what they did. I, I do think they're taking personal accountability, but to me it just feels like they feel really ashamed or they just feel really scared to confront what they did here. This person is trying to manifest you. They want to manifest you back into your life, into their lives. They want to manifest the union. Okay, They've disrupted the flow of things. They've disrupted the flow of the connection. And then they want to manifest rhythm and flow with you. They've walked away. They end up, They regret their decision here. Whatever they did here. Or whatever they didn't do here. They regret their decision. And they want to do over. And obviously it's your choice here. But I'm seeing that this is someone who's having a hard time. Okay, not being able to hear from you or not being able to contact you, communicate with you, not knowing what to say. Very anxious, very stressed. I feel like this person is having all, even like nightmares. I think they're having a lot of nightmares or just really uncomfortable feelings about them. I don't know if they were cheating or whatever it is that they did here. It's a, a lot of anxiety, worry, worry, depression. Maybe your person suffers from depression, stress, mental disorder here. Um, the thing is, they're obsessing over what went wrong here. And so much so that I think that's what's preventing this person from coming back and, you know, owing you that apology. Um, it's just that they're acting to me. It feels like they're acting in ways that support their negative thoughts. So them obsessing over what happened here, them obsessing over you. The more that they're stressing about this outcome, I feel like the more that it's pushing this person away to disconnect, or the more it's pushing you away to disconnect here. Or the other message that I get, I can spin it a different way, and something he has, something he has pushed them to disconnect with you and start a relationship with someone else, and now they regret it. They regret it. They could be like a compulsive liar, okay, or they might have cheated before. They might have cheated on you before, or they might have cheated in the past. They need to break, I'm seeing that they need to break some sort of cycle. I don't know what that cycle is for them, but they need to break a cycle. I think they haven't been able to properly rest since 
you guys spoke last. You will get a lot of communication from them, okay? Because I think there's been so much that they've been wanting to tell you, but they just haven't found the right words or the right time. In fact, I think there's going to be several messages that come in, like one after the other. It's going to be, I think this person's just going to bombard you with a lot of text messages, a lot of phone calls. Maybe you've been ignoring them for their phone calls. Maybe that's what I'm seeing. Maybe this person has been like, you had like multiple missed calls from them or multiple messages. You haven't been responding. Or maybe you block them and you'll unblock them and you'll see all these, you know, frequent um, attempts that they've been trying to reach you. You're out of alignment with one another and this person knows that they don't feel you. They feel like you've disconnected from them. Even though you still love them or you still care for them, they feel you've disconnected. Because I think they've done or said something to push you away, haven't they? They do want to come back and it feels like they want to come back and build on a connection with you. Um, I feel like there will be a digital contact communication. I also feel like it's going to come in the night time. Okay, in the evening or the night time when it gets dark or really late at night. Because I think that's when they're really just going to cave. Because this person, trust me, they've been like writing and rewriting and deleting their messages. And they've been trying or they've been constantly like sending messages to you. Um... Or I don't know if this is someone, you know how some people are texters that instead of just putting everything in one message, they'll just send several messages at once, which can get a little bit annoying. No, maybe. I don't know. Um, there's that. I see that too. It's like what they could tell you in one text message, they send in like, I don't know, over the span of, I don't know, five or six messages. But they want to come back with a union. This person thought you were, you know... You are best friends as well as lovers. And they walked away from that. And now they're regretting it. They regret hurting you. They regret making that decision. And they're paying for it now. It feels like, you know, they're getting their karma. Or it feels like it's like they're paying for what they did to you. And it's that feeling of, you know, guilt, shame and regret. They didn't know that they were making a mistake then. Like walking away from you was going to be such a big mistake. They didn't know it. They did know about the whole cheating and thing because that, that was deliberate, right? It's no accident. It didn't just happen. Um, so, I don't know. It's It just feels like this person is going through a range of emotions. And the fact that, you know, no contact, no communication, I think is driving them crazy. Um, I'm also seeing their thoughts are very obsessive and intrusive. But they will contact, they will communicate with you. And I think there's going to be like several messages as well. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to connect. Bye for now.